message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll do fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware... The characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Got to conserve power. All right. Good night. Great. Uh, most people 
people don't last this long. I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. Uh, I'm not implying that they died. That, that, that's not what I meant. Uh, anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things start getting real tonight. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Uh, then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to stuff a metal skeleton into you. I wonder how that would work. Y yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um, uh, okay, I I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company, uh... That old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly, he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <clears throat> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about robots seeing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into a suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments Position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room, 
that is not included in the digital map layouts program into the animatronic or security system. This room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza.